So we're all video of Kevin's tank just break it down. Yeah. I I brought some extra plumbing in the in my car, so and I brought like a little saw hacksaw. Okay. And I brought some PVC glue. Home depot is open so uh yeah, I think I got most of it. If anything, I might need to get one Anything more. Anything that you have to buy, he pays. He pay for it. Ah, oh, that's that's it. Uh, oh, that's fair, man. You know what I got charged to do the plumbing on that tank? Hmm. Just for that job, it was a hundred. And you didn't do it. Cause those, I was I like. Didn't even move this tank. You didn't. Nope. I had somebody come in and move it in here, set it up. Um. I did an aqua skate. This is a badass tank. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. It's a little different in here walking in and not seeing it. That's old school. I like the, the old school cabinet. That's, that's what I like about it. It's very... I like the six foot tanks. Um, I, le I also have my little 20 going on right now. I just have, a, um, you know, Zoa frags in there. Yeah. I had a 40 and I was like, I lost interest in the 40. So I just set on my 20 again. No protein skimmer still from the last week. Okay, you're gonna lose everything in a year. I was like, alright, I'll just keep it running for two years. The sheet, this tank's been up for three years. This is three years. Three years. Crazy, huh? Time flew by. No skimmer. And literally, when I set this thing up again, when I go back and set it up, it's going to look, you know, awesome. I'm going to flip, try to flip the rocks around a little bit. Yeah, no skimmer, and you don't have all this freaking hair algae growing. Yeah, it's... Because from the phosphates, you know? Yeah, it's not a lot, it's not, really, it's not a lot of uh, algae growing at all. I mean, it's, it's a little bit, uh, but the... Normal the, glass, yeah, but... The rocks look a little bit green, but I mean, this is, once again, this is three years old. So, I mean, what, what, I mean, all I'd have to do is literally put this in a, even my cr cleanup crew from three years ago is still alive in here. Look at it. <laughs> it's crazy. My cleanup, some of my cleanup crew is still here. I told them we need to, to invest some money in some snails and some more crabs because there's a lot of dead shells around here. That's a cool wrasse. That's a yellow, is that Porous wrasse. Yeah, they eat, uh, they eat, uh, what, what is it? What are those little worms? Flatworms? Uh huh. Yeah, they, they, they pick worms off of uh, SPS coral. Yeah, I uh, I didn't notice that they had a yellow, like an orange stripe, striping on the face. That's a male. That's a male. You can put them in a, a harem. You could do a harem of them. You can get them, uh, not a harem, but you could do like a three or four of them in a tank. One male and several female. Look at his face. He has faces looking like a melanaris or ass kind of. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, except he's... Yellow and orange. Yeah, he's not a juvenile anymore. He's an adult now. They, they look different when they're juveniles. They're all yellow. They don't have those markings. He's a male now. And I told him, I explained to him, you know, I was like, this guy does not know nothing about saltwater tanks. And I told him, I said, if you need to get any fish, you better buy them now. The day's the day you put them in because if you go to the store and buy a yellow tank, some more clowns, put them in, they're all going to kill each other. So. Well, the cool thing is, you're gonna re escape it, so you're gonna change up the rock uh, for all these, yeah. Yep. For these guys. So. That yellow tang is healthy. Yeah, he's good. It's one of the strongest fish too, mean ass. Fish mean as fuck. Yeah. That's the boss of the tank. There's my dory right there, hiding. It's gonna be oh, a bitch okay. getting these fish out. Nah, because once you drain out the water, you get all the rocks out. Yeah. 
that rasp will be the hardest one. You know what? I uh, I almost couldn't find my rasp when I moved my fish into the 180. Mm -hmm. That was the only fish I couldn't find. So I started scooping. You have to. Yeah. And, and I got them out of the sand. And I have most of my tank is no sand in there anymore, but there's still a little bit of sand there. Jeez. So my buddy Kevin here is breaking down his tank. He is going to be moving and leaving El Paso. Uh, probably going back to Florida or Georgia. And uh, so we're breaking down this tank. And uh, as you can see, the best way to catch fish is to drain it all the way. Take out all the live rock. The only fish that he has left in there is a yellow Korish wrasse. This tank has been set up for three years with no protein skimmer. Um, if you guys remember that video, I'll show a, a link right there for you. But uh, Kevin brought over plenty of manpower over here. Daniel is the new owner of this tank. Uh, he's going to be moving this tank with Kevin. And I'm just going to go ahead and take care of the plumbing for him. Uh, any leaks or anything like that, of course, I will take care of and fix. But hopefully we get a first time go at the station and no leaks at all. I'm excited to see the new aquascape of course, the new tank. Um, it's going to go a different direction. Uh, I did have to pick up a couple of couplings. Uh, these are one inch and I'm going to be using the existing bulkheads and uh, pipe. So what I'm going to do is just cut the pipe, get some couplings and what I always do is I get the couplings and I find a piece of the pipe like one inch make sure it fits before I leave the store because a lot of the times you'll find different parts mixed in with the correct parts that you need you know what I'm saying so just try them out before you leave the store that way you save yourself a trip returning them and things like that but it was a short ride and uh, to Daniel's house and we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, plumbing and the tank new in tank install done and it's always fun doing these tank builds. That's why when we uh, do these tank builds, I don't know how many tanks this, I have moved now, uh, but I'm starting to become like a little bit of a pro. Uh, everything, you kind of have to plan everything out before you actually do the move. What you want to do, you have to have the containers, things like that. I have heaters, power heads on hand, buckets, and uh, of course those buckets, the trash cans with the wheels are the best to help you move lots of water. Just a quick tip, the last time I needed the cement glue for the PVC, it had dried up. This time I stored it upside down. And as I stored it upside down, it didn't evaporate on the inside. The uh, primer itself, you gotta have no choice but to store it on top. But keeping the glue upside down in a clean uh, container worked. As you can see, you start off with a small tank and you end up going to a bigger tank. Before this tank was actually installed, Kevin got the water hose, sprayed down the tank, cleaned up all the uh, old sand, things like that, and as it was tilted upright, I went ahead and took advantage of the bulkheads. I made sure that the bulkheads were tight, and then right now what you see me doing is checking for any leaks. Uh, before you even start plumbing, you need to make sure your bulkheads are not leaking, so that's what I'm doing. I'm totally wiping underneath the glass to dry off any water and keeping an eye on the bulkhead. That doesn't mean that you fill up the entire uh, overflow section, but you do put a couple of cups of water in there so that way uh, before you get started, if you have any leaks, you can take care of that without having your whole tank full. Because believe me, if you do not uh, plan ahead and check all the little attention to detail things, you're going to pay for it later. So everything was good, and we're going to go on to the next step, which is putting some PVC glue with some uh, couplings and use the existing plumbing. The sandbags going to the right? Yes, yes, the sandbags. Thank you. Right, yeah. Thank you. 
aquí. We're building sand castles today. We're going to leave the tank just like this until we get done pouring the rest of the sand out. <laughs> New aquascape. Man, he's going to be good with 60 pounds of life sand. This is uh, 120 pounds. How many? Oh, no. Six yeah, bags yeah, yeah, and 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. I thought it was three bags, but I don't know why. Flatten it out. Meanwhile, the PVC glue is curing. Both kids are still holding water. Good. Corner overflows. Not that corner. This is uh, a marine land, huh? Yep. One twenty.